Hey guys, it is me, HypoSaric, and welcome to Last and Earth Survival. Today we're going to see if this brand new update is worth it for new players because we are here on this free-to-play account. I'm only level 81 here, so I have a limited amount of resources. And we're also gonna talk about a secret weapon that not a lot of people know, and this is this torch. It's gotten a buff during this update. It does fire damage. It's not expensive, and it is perfect for this new update. So, hey, welcome to the Hidden Ridge Farm. I went back to the base and I crafted a few torches. Do you hear the zombies? Help us get rid of them before they surround us. Okay, so we're gonna start dealing with these zombies. Also, if you did not know, when you hold your torch, it does lose a little bit of durability, so be fast. Don't really keep it in your inventory for too long. And as you see, we are doing here a decent amount of damage when we sneak attack. So with this torch, we can do 36 damage, which is nice. Plus, these zombies burn down. They don't always burn. There's a chance to set them on fire. But these torches are amazing. So if you are a new player, make sure to use these torches. They're amazing. They're cheap. They're great. And we still have to deal with a few more zombies. Also, we might need an iron pickaxe, but hey, luckily we will have some of these iron pickaxes in the inbox from all the season passes. Let's deal with these guys. And we're doing 12 damage per attack. 12 damage. Okay, don't worry about me. Just kill those scumbags. All right, just to show you how awesome is this torch, let's get this machete, right? And with this machete, we're doing only 15 damage, ladies and gentlemen, and it's supposed to do 30 damage. So the machete is almost as good as this torch. Torch, ladies and gentlemen, torch. Everybody has forgotten about this weapon. It's actually great. It's gotten a nice buff during this update. It's probably only for Christmas, unless we'll get some more frozen zombies in the future. But as of right now, I think this torch is only useful for this event. However, make sure to use this torch as you will save a lot of healing items. Okay, so we just need to deal with one more zombie and it is over here. Okay, so the guy just dealt with it. Okay, not a bad shot, huh? I see you want to help us. I've got your back if you need me. Okay, also, let's not waste this torch. Let's get back our machete. And as soon as we are done talking here, as soon as we are done doing the basics, I'm gonna quickly explain everything you need to know about this event. We don't want to leave here because there is a source of heat. Let me show you. Fire it up and see how it works. Okay, so let's turn this thing on. The boiler is working and we'll have to lay the pipes. It works, but we can't figure out how to heat the houses because they're dumb dumbs. Okay, so we got three copper pipes. So the first thing that you gotta do is connect this house over here. So there's one more building that we can't really see because we are in the building mode. But over there, there's a building and we need to heat it up and we've gotten three copper pipes, as you can see in the down left corner. So all you have to do is just put three pipes here, here, and then here. And there we go, we have connected our first house. Now we can talk to the elder. Well, that's way better. We don't like to feel indebted. So the things in that chest are yours. Alrighty. And here we have gotten some random resources. That's nice. I'm gonna bring that stuff back to the base. And now we have to talk to the gunsmith. So the gunsmith is the new character that we've just unlocked. And we're gonna talk to that guy very soon. But now, let me quickly explain to you about this event. So we have two people here in this building. We have the assistant. So all you have to do is just bring these thick fabrics, berry teas, and jerkies every single day. But currently, don't give to this assistant any lights and especially these copper pipes. As your goal here is to connect these copper pipes to these radiators. And that way you will get reputation points. So save those pipes to connect it to the radiators. And once you connect the heating to the house, once you lay down the pipes to that radiator, then you'll have to do some sort of quest and then you will have to decorate the house with those lights. So make sure to not give those lights. After you are done decorating the houses, after you are done laying down pipes to all of these different houses, only then start giving the pipes. So I guess that's pretty simple. Now let's talk to the gunsmith here. We've been in the North for so long. We've learned how to make special ammo. And there we go. Some people asked me how to unlock the new ammunition and that's how you do it. I'll show you how to assemble it, but first, I need you to bring me thermite. Okay, so let's get a little bit of thermite and then we'll be able to use this workbench. And now once we go outside, we will unlock the icy junkyard, which is the main location of this update. Inside of this icy junkyard, you can get pipes and you can get lights. Also, for those who do not know, you can get lights in other places as well. Just click on any location and you will see what kind of lights you can get from other locations. So now what we have to do is kill some special zombies. So here we do 15 damage with this machete. But hey, this torch is a lot better. I love the torch. It's cheap. It's a lot cheaper than that machete so save your machetes for for bunker alphas and other places because these torches are ridiculously good and i absolutely love that okay so here we needed a torch you only need one torch once you open it up you won't really have to use another torch again it's a one-time thing also make sure to loot these zombies as they will be giving you lights as soon as we start looting this car, there should be one more zombie. So this place does require some weapons. But hey, there we go. We've gotten a little bit of thermite. So we've gotten some thermite, but still, let's not go back to that place. Let's not go back home because we still need to kill a few more zombies. We need to loot some more stashes. And here we got a few more zombies. So these zombies are very simple. I definitely made a mistake. I could have sneaked attack most of them. But hey, let's deal with these wildlings. 
We've gotten more lights. Let's load now our second stash. There we go. We've gotten some more thermite. So there's only one more stash that we need to loot. So we could go up here. Let's deal with one more wildling. And there we go. That's probably the last stash that we need to loot. And then we can go back to that other place. There we go. We've gotten some more thermite. I only have 13 thermite though. That's not an insane amount of thermite because you need 15 thermite to upgrade a shotgun or a scar. We still have two flare guns, which I'm absolutely going to use during this update. I have a shotgun here in the inbox, so I'd love to upgrade that. And we have one scar here that I'd also love to upgrade. We also have some slashers that I might use. And hey, before we return to that hidden ridge farm, let's go to tools. Let's get an iron pickaxe. Let's chop this thing down and perhaps so we'll get a few more thermite. Let's get this. Also, let's not forget about the flare gun because the flare gun is going to be important. You can find flare guns at the farm location at the fourth floor. There are probably some other places where you can get it. Let's get that flare gun and let's start shooting this wildling. There we go. Now I'm going to get back my torch. So all I want is just two more thermite. Then I can get back to that base and craft a thermite shotgun or a thermite scar. There we go. Perhaps here we'll get something. Please, 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 pretty please. Yes, we indeed. We have gotten two more thermite. That's nice. That is enough. We don't really have to loot this place. Also, we need to get that light bulb. Let's get it. Either a healer or the gunsmith guy will require that light bulb. So let's keep it for now. There we go. We are back. We can talk to the gunsmith. Now we have everything we need to make incendiary ammo. With those, you'll be able to handle any icy creature. That is to take everything from the box. You deserve it. And inside of this box, we have gotten a cold python. We have gotten also this holiday suitcase. And we've gotten a weapon mod. The side time is still... Let's use that. Plus, we've gotten an iron pickaxe, so we didn't even have to get one from the inbox. That's great. We have gotten some more random resources. Oh, the game also wants me to talk to this gunsmith again. With the heating, it's much more comfortable inside. Now it's time to decorate the house to make it even cozier. So when we talk to this dude, we can give him the lights and we can decorate this house. So we can already start giving these lights to the guy. We still don't have enough colorful lights. We don't have a lot of other lights. So as soon as I get enough lights, I'm going to give everything to this gunsmith. And that's why you're not supposed to give any lights to the assistant in this building. You will give those lights once you are done decorating all of the houses. But now we have this brand new workbench. And as you can see, we can get a Winchester with five thermite. We can get a cold python for 10 thermite, which is kind of expensive. So what we're going to do, we're going to drop thermite here and we could get a scar but it's unmodded so i think maybe a shotgun is a bit better i'm not sure i still think the scar is better but hey, let's add that shotgun. And there we go. We've just gotten the shotgun with this dragon's breath ammo. Before we go back to that icy junkyard, we have to give the case to the assistant. Let's give that thing over here. We have just leveled up. Also, we haven't even spoken about the rewards. So every time you level up this assistant, you do get rewards from this elder. The rewards here are pretty decent. As you can see, I haven't used anything and I've already gotten here a flare gun. I've gotten some first aid kits, iron plates, plastic. Soon we're going to get this level three husky poppy. Plus you can get these other, other rewards. Words. At level 10, you can get two more weapon blueprints. At level 15, you can get blue cards, which are pretty nice. You can also get some rubber. You can get 10 copper, which is amazing. On level 20, you can get a brand new skin. Sadly, on level 21, you can get these new Molotov cocktails. And they are pretty bad. They're the worst throwable items in the game. At level 25, you can get a Rottweiler poppy. And at level 30, you can get another skin. At level 31, you can get these 10 carbon composites, which are pretty nice. Then at level 35, you can get the Scorcher, which is decent. It's not a bad weapon. Sadly, you don't really have a lot of them, so you're not going to be able to use most of those scorchers and at level 43 you can get this division box which is probably the best reward from what we've seen so far as there you'll be able to store small mechanical parts so your goal should be probably getting this division box and at level 45 you can get this tactical backpack if you still don't have it yet welcome back to the icy junkyard we have the shotgun now so the life is going to be a lot a lot easier at the very end there is a boss and now i'm kind of thinking is it even worth it to fight that boss it does have 900 health you can probably wall trick it with these torches, so it is probably worth it. But that boss gives almost nothing. That is the worst part about it. Okay, so my character is a little bit thirsty. I did not bring any water, so let's just eat at least some beans. Let's sneak attack one more wildling beast. And these torches are insane. As you can see so far, we haven't used almost any guns. I did use a few flare gun shots and that's it. These torches are ridiculous. There we go. We've gotten a free pipe. We've gotten some thermites, some more items. Make sure to pick up these pipes as they will be very, very important. You need these pipes to heat up houses. And there we go. Here we have our first big zombie. So for that big zombie, you will have to use your flare guns as you won't really be able to use this torch. So hey, I'm going to show you that this shotgun is amazing. We can do 70 damage with this shotgun. 
But hey, I want to save the shotgun perhaps for later, or we can even use it right now. Or we could use this flare gun, which also does a decent amount of damage. Plus, the dude gets some um, frozen damage. And just like that, we're going to deal with this frozen bloater. There we go. The guy has 16 health, 12 health, 8 health. And the dude is dead. That was very simple. Just don't let him attack you because every time he attacks you, he heals. Just don't get attacked. Now, let's lure another zombie closer to us. I'm gonna get this wildling fast biter. They don't do that much damage. They don't heal up. So using this torch is perfect. This torch is about to break. Also, we have another zombie, but I don't want to aggro both of them at the same time. Maybe I can get only one. There we go. I was able to aggro only one wildling. So this is probably the cheapest way to clear the icy junkyard. There's another dude. I'm pretty sure I won't be able to sneak attack it because there's one more zombie there. So I'm just going to stand up. I'm going to get my flare gun once again. I will aggro this frozen bloater. I'm going to keep him at a distance. I'm going to keep him away from me. And I'll just keep using my flare gun. If you don't have that flare gun, then use the shotgun that you've just modified. If you don't have that shotgun, then make sure to clear enough bunker alphas to get that shotgun. You could have also upgraded that cold python. It's still better than nothing. If you don't have any shotguns and any scars, probably upgrade a cold python. It's not completely terrible. Okay, there's another zombie here. Let's get my torch. I don't think I'll be able to sneak attack the zombie as it will aggro more zombies around it. So let's put this wild link to sleep we have another wild link here i think i should be able to sneak attack it there we go these torches are insane i'm telling you it's it's even ridiculous to believe how strong these torches are don't forget to pick up the loot so up here we have a few more zombies i'll probably aggro one guy oh no i got two of them at the same time i'll try to deal with this wildling and maybe just for this let's get the shotgun just so that we can deal with these guys a little bit faster there we go we're gonna deal with these with this wildling just with one shot and this frozen bloater We'll say goodbye at any moment. There we go. It's already burning and it just died. The shotgun is absolutely ridiculous here. Without the fire breath mod, the shotgun would be doing almost no damage. So it is crucial for you to modify the shotgun. Plus, if you have mods on your shotgun, then add those other mods. It'll be even better. Let's get some more thermite. And hey, we're almost, almost done with this place. How about I deal with one more of these guys? I'm gonna get him. All we need is just a few more shots in this frozen bloater. We'll say goodbye. There we go. We haven't even used a lot of healing items. So you know what? This event is very beginner friendly because I don't even grind that much on this account. It's our free to play account. I haven't even cleared Bunker Alpha that many times here. So if I have enough resources on this account, I'm pretty sure that your main account is going to have enough resources. So to answer the main question of the day, should you clear this place as a beginner? Yes, I believe you should do it. It'll be worth it. Okay, I haven't gotten the lights yet. Let's get everything. Let's get more pipes. You get a lot of random resources to your inbox from that event. And currently you might not even know what resources you might need in the future. So that's why this event is amazing and it's totally worth it as a beginner. Now let's get the shotty. Let's deal with the frozen bloater. Oh no, the dude healed up just a bit. That is okay. The dude might just die or maybe not really. Okay, so the frozen bloater is still alive. How about I get my flare gun and I deal with this guy and with the frozen bloater. And let's say we're like 70 to 80% done with the icy junkyard. All right, so we kind of sorted the inventory. I was able to get everything I wanted from that place. There's one more chest to loot. We've gotten even more items. Now let's open up this door. If you have played during act one, we were in this junkyard. It's just that it looks a little bit different. There's snow now. When we were at this junkyard, there was no snow. Okay, so let's put this frozen bloater to sleep. There's one more zombie over here. Let's get our torch. Okay, let's deal with this crawler while the dude is punching the wall. So you should also be able to wall trick these frozen bloaters over here. Just be careful. Get your torch and that way you will save even more bullets from your shotguns, from your flare guns. And that is it. My torch just broke. It's not cool at all. Whatever. I'm just going to use one shotgun shot. And one more shotgun shot. So I should have brought more torches. I don't have enough torches. I don't think I'm going to go back to the base for those torches. And sadly, I don't think I have any torches in my inbox. I do have the slasher though. So let's get that slasher instead of the torch. So let's try to sneak here. Somewhere here, there has to be the boss. Okay, so this time the boss has spawned over here. Sometimes it spawns to the left. Sometimes it'll spawn in the middle. So be careful with that. Now let's aggro this zombie over here. Oh no, I accidentally got two of them. So I better deal with one of them real quick or with both of them, whatever. Let's go here behind the wall. Okay, so let's deal just with one of these frozen bloaters. Oh no, my character switched to the other guy. Whatever, I'm gonna heal up because it didn't even see my health. Let's get that slasher and let's sort of wall trick them with this slasher. Okay, just one more attack and there we go. The dude is dead as well. So the slasher is also pretty decent. Actually, it's probably the strongest melee weapon for this event. It is expensive. They are pretty rare. You get them like what? Only from season passes? Wait, what we need to do is open up this door over here. That way I'll be able to escape in case things go south. Maybe I'll even be able to wall trick on this wall. I don't know. We'll see. 
we've gotten more lights. Uh, I'm gonna take those. I'm not gonna be able to open this thing up because as you can see, I will aggro the Wendigo. So how about we get this slasher? How about I slash this Wendigo? Just like that, we have done 130 something damage. And as you can see, it'll be very tricky to wall trick it here. Unless we really, really try it. But the dude will kind of move. I mean, it kind of works, but last time it didn't work for me here. It works better on that container. Just keep moving, probably. If we'll stay in one spot, Wendigo will move. Because Wendigo works a little bit different from these other zombies. At least that's what happened for me during the live stream. But I, so far it works. And there we go. We were able to wall trick it. So that's it. We were able to destroy that Wendigo. And as you can see, we've only gotten two blue lights. So it was not worth it at all. However, we were able to wall trick it. I didn't have to use any guns for it. That's a W in my book. Here we've gotten some more lights, more thermite. We've also gotten here some more bandages. And there we go. There's one more door. And there are a bunch of these fast biters. Oh, no. Look at them. Look at the amount of schmucks here. Okay, let's try to deal with them real quick then. With this slasher that we got. Sometimes there are different zombies inside of this container. Sometimes there will be big zombies. Okay, and let's deal with this other Wendigo. There we go, we've done everything. So if your boss spawns a little bit closer to the right, sometimes that Wendigo spawns around here-ish. So if that boss spawns here, then try to sneak all the way to the bottom and open this container first. As at least from my experience, it's a little bit easier to wall trick that Wendigo on these doors because if you cannot wall trick him there, maybe you'll be able to wall trick that Wendigo here. And again, if you cannot wall trick the Wendigo, you can always just use your flare guns and shotguns or whatever else. Don't forget to loot this box here as it does have a decent amount of lights. And there's one more chest that I haven't looted. So let's get that and that is it. We are done with this icy junkyard. We've gotten some more lights, more thermite. And we almost already have enough thermite for another shotgun. We are back at the Icy Ridge farm. Let's talk to the gunsmith. Let's give him all of these items. All we need now is just 10 rope. Sadly, I don't have any rope here. I'll have to go back to the base to get that rope. But before we do this, we still have a few more copper pipes. So we're going to unlock this house over here, which is the healer. So let's lay pipes this way. There we go. Let's add a few more, more, and there we go. One more pipe, and there we go. Just like that, we have unlocked another building. So now we'll have to do the tasks for the healer. Not everyone got away from the wildlings in one piece. We arranged the hospital for the wounded. They always need help down there. Come and see what you can do. Okay, understandable. And then we'll be able to load this other building. Also, I don't think I mentioned this, but laying these pipes is very simple. As long as you don't do something silly and lay these pipes through the middle all the way like to this house, for example, over here, everything should be fine on the main account of lay down pipes here. Then I chose the path over here. Then to connect to another house, I chose the path here. Then to connect this other house, I chose chose the path here and then to connect to this last house I chose the path over here that was pretty simple and now let's hop into this basement and now we have to help the wounded so the wounded are here and we have to give them a bandage you can find the bandage and all the other resources inside of this box plus we've gotten a bottle of alcohol so we can give this bandage to the wounded except it does not work because I have to have these bandages in my inventory instead of my pocket Let's give that here and let's give this dude some alcohol. And that is it. We have helped both of these guys. Thank you for doing your part. You can take everything from the chest in my house. So we can leave now this basement. Let's see what kind of rewards we can get from the healer. We can get a reanimator, which is pretty good. We have gotten here a lot of nice rewards. And we can talk to this healer. And as you can see, we can start decorating this house as well. I'm going to fill up all of these items. Why not? And that's basically it. That's all you have to do. Rinse and repeat. You'll have to do the same thing with all of these other houses. And now to finish some things off, I went back to the base. I've gotten some more rope. Let's give that stuff. Let's finalize it. We've gotten 1,500 reputation points. Now we can go back into this barn. We can talk to the elder. And as you can see, we've gotten even more rewards. And just in one day, we have already reached almost to level 10. We can also give some of these thick fabrics, some berry teas, and some jerky. And we will be able to get even more points. So I believe that this event is very worth it for new players. You should absolutely do it. And I highly suggest you check out my new scum survival let's player. Click here on the second card and you'll get my days gone let's player. Hop over to my channel, go to playlist. And there you'll find a lot of other games that are played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to jump subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And see you in the next one.